honestly, I was never a glove guy. For the most part, I just worked without them. But after moving here out to the woods where I'm constantly chopping wood and chainsawing and hauling stuff that's dirty and cold and wet, I've really learned the value of leather gloves. I mean, these, all of them were virtually untouched when I moved here. Just the one or two pairs had the occasional use. But they're really getting trashed quickly now. So take a look. We have four pairs. This is what they look like brand new. This is what they look like in their prime. These have been freshly oiled. If you watch these videos often, you know that I put mink oil on my gloves and it makes them a little softer and keeps them drier longer. These are kind of in their prime, but it sprung a leak right there on the thumb and it burned like crazy because I was playing with the fire. You know if you have leather gloves, you can pretty much grab hot coals out of the fire and even when they're wet, they'll just steam and feel good. Leather gloves are uh, truly one of life's pleasures. It, they're bulky at first, but they've grown on me. Well, pair number four is, this is your worst case scenario. They're pretty much trash. They offer very little protection anymore. If you're yanking out jaggers or something, or, or messing with hot things or sharp things, forget it. Uh, these are almost at the end of their life, and I don't think I can save them. But pair number three, I think I can resurrect with this old chamois. Chamois. You get it at an auto parts store, and it, it's soft leather, and after a while it wears down. But it feels very much like leather glove, except not quite as thick. And I think with a little bit of epoxy, we can probably fix this up. So let's give it a try and see. So as I think I started to say before, in preparation for doing this, I stopped using mink oil on these for a while and washed them maybe two, three times so that I can get a good bond with the epoxy. How <laughs> This might seem obvious, but maybe not. Maybe this never occurred to you. The best way that I've found to wash your gloves is to just wear them and hold them under tap water and use some lava soap or something. And then I set them by the radiator and they're crisp like this. And you have to replenish the oils in them. So I use mink oil. Okay, but I'm getting off track. So let's get to the repair and find out if this works. This piece of chamois was originally much bigger. They are at least two or three times the size. They're much bigger when you originally buy them. But this one is old. They last a long time. I mean, it outlasted the car that I used to wash with it. <laughs> I no longer even wash my vehicle. <laughs> that piece is nice and porous. It's pretty thin, though, in comparison to the gloves. But <laughs> this is a prototype. We'll find out really quickly if it works. Okay, let's see if I can't make a form of some type. I got it sticky side out. Okay, there's no possible way that I can film that. And it's awkward and difficult <laughs> and barely works. So you just use your imagination. Uh, that'll do. We just need to keep the epoxy from touching the other part of the other side of the glove. Ah, complete failure. Okay, I have another idea. Let's try it. It's a long shot. Okay, so here's the new plan. I'll wear the latex glove and then use my own thumb as a form to press the patch against it. It's going to be tricky to film, though. Well, let's jump right in. I'll mix the epoxy. Wait. Revision. While I was sitting here doing this, I looked at... <laughs> this, Mrs. Pocket stitched this back together, and yeah, I know it failed up here instead, but that just goes to show you how well the patch worked. She put the patch on the inside, and it's actually quite comfortable. 
So as I had my thumb in here playing around with it, I noticed that a lot of the material is still there if you position it correctly. So how about we put the patch on the inside and then you can toy with the epoxy on the outside. I think this might be a more practical solution. Now I have to apologize for the shoddy camera work from this point forward. <laughs> I could just apologize for shoddy camera work in general, but it's hard to do a project and film at the same time. We just don't have enough hands or brains. It's actually kind of confusing and difficult to film if you've never done it before. It's really distracting and it forces you to kind of put your project on the back burner. As such, your neatness can really be compromised when you're trying to film doing something. And that sucks because viewers can be so critical because things often when you're watching them look easier than they actually are doubly so when they're being filmed. I may sound like a broken record, but I have to remind you every time I use epoxy that the trick to it is heat. This is going to be really tricky to film. I'm using a five minute set epoxy. It's really cold in here. So the epoxy is pretty thick, like honey. But once I get it in place, I'll hit it with the heat gun and hopefully it will spread. And hopefully it won't spread to my thumb. <laughs> if you do get it on your thumb, denatured alcohol does a pretty good job of getting it off. Now it's probably going to register as a hard spot when this is all done. So I hope that's not too uncomfortable to use. But we will know shortly. I'll fidget with it for a few minutes and then we'll go out and test it in, I don't know, maybe two hours. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes and I should have filmed this but I didn't. I put a little bit of baby powder right there and then it keeps it from sticking so I was able to use my index finger to kind of mold it around and now it fits my thumb perfectly. It's very soft and comfortable. I think this is going to work great under extreme magnification you get the idea is it worth doing this for gloves yes leather gloves are very expensive uh, and <laughs> you get attached to them it's hard to spend as much money as they cost and then just watch them fall apart this was starting to show signs of wear so I just applied some straight epoxy to the leather itself it seems to really soak down into it which makes me believe that it will work very effectively for a repair. So, thumb up so far. Well, at a reasonable distance, it just looks like a dirty spot. And it should be noted that I can certainly apply more epoxy to it if I want later, or I could put another patch on the outside. But from the inside, it feels great. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's go test it out.
Do you know what the single most important word is when you're starting a fire? No, it's not gasoline and it's not paper. It's under. Under is the key word. Under. Under. Now over. Okay, Pocket, we get it. The montage is supposed to show us that they handled a whole bunch of work, right? Yeah, they did. But I sprung a new leak. <laughs> That's right, the hole that we patched up, it's fine. Look at that. It, it wasn't uncomfortable or anything. It's the epoxy split on the outside there, but it doesn't matter because underneath there's still the in piece, intact piece of chamois. But look, I got a new one. So, is it worth doing? Uh, yeah, absolutely, uh, maybe. <laughs> See you next time. Draw your own conclusions, please. That's enough gloves for the day. It's old wear, and then to be honest.